Moose and Magpie by Bettina Restrepo, illustrated by Sherry Rogers. Moose lived where the willow trees touched the ground and the lily pads floated on the water. With the exception of cows with calves, moose live alone. His head prickled. He found a tree and rubbed his head against it with all his might. Hey, moose, quit shaking my tree. I'm trying to eat some bugs up here, said Magpie. But my head itches. Why don't you come down and eat the bugs that are biting me, begged Moose. Magpie laughed so hard she almost fell off the branch. Your antlers are coming in. Moose Moose's itchy head drove him crazy, and he swam to forget about it. But no matter what, it only felt better when he rubbed his head up against the trunk of the oak tree and chewed his cud. Cows are females. Bulls are males and grow antlers in itchy process. Magpie told him jokes to ease his mind. What do the Liberty Bell and Moose have in common? Moose didn't know much about history. I don't know. Tell me. They both have, ca have bells that don't work, cackled Magpie. The bell is the flappy part of the skin that hangs off a moose's throat. Bells can be two feet long. So far, scientists aren't sure what they are used for, although there are several different theories. Can you find the bell on the moose? As the summer grew warmer, Moose's antlers grew big as his appetite he ate as many leaves as he could find to fill his four stomachs. Every day, Magpie had a new joke. Do moose eat chocolate moose? Moose thought about the question. Mm, what kind of leaves are in it? Magpie shook the branch with her snickering. Moose wouldn't eat moose. They're herbivores. Herbivores only eat plants.